The Easter promise is that sorrow will turn into joy. The tomb is found empty. What is broken will be whole again, and life, not death, endures. When we come face to face with what seems like an ending and relentless injustice, poverty and violence and ecological harm, when we see death and fear in the lives of our neighbors in Pimachikamak, in the Philippines, it's hard to hold on to that promise. That's why we have each other, churches and communities and movements. When we can't see the Easter promise for the tears, the anger, the pain, we can find confidence in another's hope. Bearing sorrow, nurturing faith and hope are communal tasks. That's why we need each other. Not long ago, I listened to a group of children Imagine a just and equitable Canada. In essays, in poems, in art, they showed their vision of a Canada reconciled. And their confidence in our future is contagious. Despite all they face, Kairos Global Partners can exude that same confidence. Seba, our partner in Guatemala, has organized 70 community consultations where thousands of people have determined their future claimed their future. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, our partner works with victims of gender violence, witnessing to hope by training them to be advocates for women's rights. When I can't bear the sorrow, I believe somehow we can. When I can't find hope, I can trust in others' visions. Holding sorrow, witnessing hope to one another is how we keep going. It's how we build communities of resilience and transformation that are true to God's dream of justice. This Easter, as we declare Christ risen, let us be grateful for our companions in hope and struggle. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia.